students once again a very warm welcome to all of you in today's class as you all know that we are in the continuation of a new topic which is the major of dispersion and previously we have covered the range that how can you calculate the range in different scenarios and today we are going to cover a very new topic which is the curtile deviation we uh, I have taught you that what is curtile and how can you calculate the curtile for the n arranged data for for the uh, discrete ungroup frequency distribution data as well as for the continuous group frequency distribution so you are well aware you are familiar with the curtiles now what is the curtile deviation it is known as the curtile deviation is also known as the semi inter curtile range because here we are taking the difference we are taking the highest curtile the upper curtile which is the q3 and the lowest curtile which is the q1 and we are going to find out where is the deviation uh, or, or in other words we can say uh, the range of that two curtiles curtile deviation is defined as qd which is q3 minus q1 divided by 2 where q1 is the first or lower curtile and q3 is the third or upper curtile don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos update related to statistics and probability. So students, here we have an example and we need to find out the curtile deviation for the following formula. It is an arranged data. So first we know that we have to arrange the data in the form of the data array. For saving the time, I have already arranged that in the data array. And we know that the total number of observation and observations are 11. So for the curtile deviation, we need Q3 and Q1. Then we will take the difference of that. We will uh, take the range. So for Q1, we know the formula is L plus 1 divided by 4th value of 4th term. And here we will calculate the Q3. 3 into n plus 1 divided by 4th value. 11 plus 1 divided by 4th value. We will get the third value. Now let's see what is the third value. 1, 2, 3. 6 is the third value. With the help of the same, we will find out the Q3. Ninth value. Now let's see what is the ninth value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which is 13. So we have Q3, which is 30, and Q1, which is 6. With the help of these, we can easily find the curtile deviation. Let's see how can we find it. So the curtile deviation is Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2, Q3 is 13, Q1 is 6 divided by 2 and we will get the curtile deviation which is 3.5. So this is how the curtile deviation can be calculated when the data is not the arranged data. Now